Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and we were just here like the last time we saw each other and we are back again because guess what? We are going to work on this bed, the decorative gravel for the black slope is going to get delivered in just a couple of hours and we are going to take care of this area. I am so excited because this has been, like I said last time, driving me crazy. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the link above because I will have that video linked. Now, we finally got some really much needed rain last night. So we have some wa um, water standing around everywhere. It'll go away pretty soon. While I'm waiting on the gravel to arrive and Jerry's going to come help me and work with me, I'm going to get in here and start weeding and just kind of doing some basic maintenance. So flip the camera around and let's go see exactly what I'm talking about. Remember coming up the garden boxes, this beautiful beast right here is um, a mazel basil. I may go ahead and rip it out. I may not. I don't know. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. The sun credible sunflowers that you can see right here. Yeah, they're sad. They're gonna come out uh, and then we're gonna come over here and we're going to take out the zinnias that just look like death and horrible. We'll probably go ahead and trim back the peonies that are right here. My, I keep, every time I get to this spot, y'all, I like lose my mind. I can't remember what words are. Yesterday it was hydrangea and today, here it is, is lavender. So you can see this is Munstead variety of lavender. I'm not going to shear it back, but what I am going to do is clean it up and just take off the um, old stalks. I don't prune my lavender until really like late winter and then I'll prune it, cut it really far back. And then we're going to get up in here and get these weeds out and just get things cleaned up so i'm just going to set the camera up and get some maintenance done that way you can kind of get an idea sorry working on the sun here get an idea of what i'm doing but really it's just like ripping out plants and lightly trimming things back nothing too spectacular but hopefully it'll be a, well i know it is going to be extremely satisfying to get this done so we're going to set the camera up and get to work
Okay, so Jerry is here with the little bobcat and the bucket. Therefore, we can go ahead and get these rocks um, out of here before the new guys come, which I think they're delivering what Jerry pretty soon, like what the next hour maybe. Yep. He says yeah. All right. So we're just gonna get all these rocks loaded up and make way for the new ones. See, like these little ones right here, just kind of leaving them stashed down in here. Okay. Will help so we don't have to fill so much up with the nice stuff. Sure. Watch your, watch your fingers. All right, folks, we had to switch locations because they're getting ready to put some posts in the ground. And guess who I found? It's me! I think all the dogs heard us. <laughs> it, was, it was true. So, sweet thing right here is running the nursery while Jerry and I are doing whatever. Yeah. Um, what I are bet, you doing? I've been cleaning out the garden boxes. Oh, that's fine. We're finally going to get the river rock delivered. Oh, yay. The for little, the, the little, little, little. Uh, no, it's going to be the medium size. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For oh, the river rock, not pea gravel. Well, that's okay. I know things. She I just does. don't sound like She knows it. lots of things. Um, no, for, you know, that, that place that's drive, driven me crazy, the little bank behind the garden boxes mm -hmm, with the mm -hmm. fabric. So steep. Yes. yes gotcha. So it's coming. It's getting delivered. <laughs> sometime around lunch. Makeover! <laughs> this is the kind of makeovers we like. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Um, okay, so update on the greenhouse. Somebody, Christine will appreciate this. Somebody was telling me on um, YouTube comment, they said, don't miss any step because oh. what you think is not important, we find very fascinating. Oh. That. I know, I love that. So We're I, here for the details. We are here for the details. So here I am. Um, wow. I haven't been over here since they dug the holes this morning. And so let's just walk and talk. So what they have done is there's, all right, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. There's only five holes, what, holes footers. Foot. Get my technical terms right here. So each one of these pipes that the sweet fellas are carrying, tubes. square tubes, let's go look at those real quick because y'all like all the details. I just have to step over the wire here. Oh, so there we go. So they're grabbing them and going. So these are the nice big ones. There we go. And we're backing out of the way. I helped dig a hole. You did? I just, I well, I helped by watching. Oh, there you go. You, <laughs> she's a, she's the official cheerleader for, for Creekside here. Oh, this is awesome. So exciting. So they're going to lay those out. They've got their concrete. Get these bad boys concreted in. And yeah, we just get to sit back and watch the show. This is fantastic. I can't wait to see how this all goes together. So we're just gonna sit back and watch. Thankfully the rain, because we were so dry, really didn't make a horrible muddy mess. And it was really smart on their part not to dig the holes yesterday. Um, otherwise they would be full of water right now. So yeah, here we go. The rock has arrived. It's been one of those days, really, it's always like these days here at Creekside. You have to jump from one task to the next. So I was cleaning up the flower beds. Jerry came and told me, he said, hey, they're getting ready to put some posts in the ground. So we ran over there, saw what they were doing over there, hanging out with them. They got the first post in the ground. And then 
here we have our sweet friend who used to be our FedEx delivery guy is now working for site one and bringing us some beautiful river rock can't wait to see this so he's gonna dump it for us right here and then that way we can just scoop it up with the Bobcat and bring it up and get it all laid out so much fun let's go see what it looks like nice yeah well it is North Carolina and Creekside when is it not muddy <laughs> right and I like it too because it's of um, it's a variety of shapes and of course right now it looks brown but once it gets cleaned up it's a beautiful blues and grays and kind of some whites I think I think it is Oh, she wrote friends. It's gonna be great. What'd you think, Jackson? It's the normal. He says it's the normal. Fun times, people. I just cannot tell you how excited I am to get this little project done because. Oh, come on, baby! Yay! It gets to be a creekside rock. It's been driving me nuts. So we'll start spreading it now. So we are putting out the rock and if you can tell Jerry is back there and we are going to have to go ahead and trim some of those little limes back. It just makes it a lot easier for him to get in. Again, these little limes are panicle hydrangeas. They bloom on new growth. They're going to have to get pruned anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and trim them back. That way it makes it easier to get this rock in here because, you know, we want to keep sweet thing up there very happy so I'm gonna go ahead and get them trimmed back I'm not gonna cut them back more than one third though doesn't he look so happy <laughs> was steep and he's stuck so we're gonna say a little prayer that he doesn't take out the hydrangea completely oh lol y'all This always seems to happen on the projects that Jenny wants to get done. So, we'll figure this out because uh, it is wet. I told you we're on the bank and everything drains this way. So, we're going to take five and figure this out and we'll see you in a minute. So, after a, a couple of different attempts, Jerry was able to get the bobcat unstuck and um, I guess this just wasn't a smart move on our part, my part, to do this project now because of the rain we got last night this morning and knowing that we have this embankment. So the good news is it's out. None of those fire lights, which I was afraid might get taken out, they're fine. The only plant in question right now is this poor little limelight right here. No, little lime. Because she got pretty whacked. Um, I think she'll be okay, but you can see over here there are some good roots exposed, so we'll get all that soil put back. Um, and I think she should be okay. Get her pruned, be all right. So probably from this point on, uh, we'll be, maybe I'll be, um, bringing this rock in by buckets because it's 
just not worth it. And no, we didn't film that whole process because really, when you're frustrated and it's kind of in a dangerous situation, do you really want to be on film? I think not. Especially when this was my project and Jerry was helping me. So, we'll get this cleaned up. We may take a pause for today, who knows? Uh, go back and check on the greenhouse. Sometimes you just gotta know when to walk away and what is it old uh, Kenny Rogers song? Know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Well, that's kind of the situation we're in. Well, he's going back for more rocks, so we'll see. We are done for today. I think pretty much done, but definitely done for today. Getting the rock spread and it came out really, really well. Um, I'm gonna try to be as steady as I possibly can. So we're gonna start here on this end and we're gonna take a little detour here first of all. Every time I'm in this space, people ask me what these trees are and what these bushes are. The trees are Thuja Green Giants. I'll put all the specs up there. There are only three of them. We have never pruned them. They are just naturally um, this beautiful shape, fantastic, bugs don't like them, disease resistant, amazing trees. And then the <laughs> ginormous shrubs in front of them, those are loripedalums. And loripedalums, if you have them, you know that this will be the plant that survives a nuclear holocaust. I mean, it just is a fantastic plant, but um, if you get the wrong kind, they can grow massive, which these do. These were originally in front of our house. Can you imagine these in front of our house? Here, we I just prune them once a year. This year, I will prune it pretty severely because it is almost as big as the crepe myrtle. So, back to the rocks. Here we go, started on the edge and we have worked our way, gotten a nice um, layer of rocks. Now you can see, again, we talked about it before, basically right now they're just a lovely brown because they are covered in dirt and mud. They had the same rain that we did last night and so the rocks were very dirty. But over here, you can start to see where these have been washed off. This is as far as the hose would reach. Now see those beautiful colors? So there's pinks and grays and whites and browns and blues and grays. I mean, all sorts of colors in there. And then you can start to see where the hose wouldn't reach anymore. Gorgeous colors. I love the shape of them. I love the variety. I love the, the different colors, sizes, so forth and so on. And then here we go, tapered it down to that side. We do have a nice little pile still left over that we can add to the wall, embankment, whatever. And then if we need to, we can always go back and add some to the patio because this is the same rock that we used over at the patio. So if any of those places need to be shored up, we can use that. Um, notice we did not show you a whole lot of us putting them out again. Um, <laughs> Sometimes when you're working and it's just like a task, the last thing you want to be worried about is moving cameras and so forth and so on. So we just decided to get the job done. We grabbed Heather from over there at the nursery. She came over and helped us, but it looks great. I am so excited, so happy about this, that it is finally done and that black landscape fabric is now hidden. What we need to do now in this space, there's quite a, f a bit that we need to do for the fall. We've talked about this before, so let's just flip it around and talk about that. So what we need to do in this area, we've talked about it before, we're gonna talk about it again, just so we're all clear. Land and see the hydrangeas and then mulch. I'm so glad we did not mulch this before we put the rock down, cause that would have just been oh, frustrating to have to do that job over again. Clean up the lavender, clean up the peonies, a lot of stuff, you know, again, I always say this, big plans, but hey, the main thing got happened with getting that rock, so I'm super, super happy about it. Now, what we're gonna do is head over to the nursery and see the progress that the guys have made. 
it is Friday afternoon, so they are headed home back to Georgia for the weekend, and then they will be back on Monday to get the work done. But it actually, I think they should have gotten all of the support post in the ground and concreted. So that's the perfect timing for them to go home because they have to let that concrete cure, of course, before they can attach more stuff to it. So we're gonna head over to the nursery and see what's going on over there. All right, sweet friends, we are wrapping up the day. The guys have gotten a lot of great work done. They have three more posts to go and then they can go home for the weekend. So I don't know, I told you that they had already left. They didn't already leave. They just went to go get some more concrete, bless their hearts. So each post sticking out of the ground is 12 feet out of the ground. Three feet of the post is in the ground and is concreted. So these posts are not going anywhere. This greenhouse is not gonna go anywhere. It is going to be absolutely amazing. So our sweet guys are here um, until they get the post in the ground. I think I already said this. So that way they can get them concreted. Then when they go home to Georgia for the weekend, that will give these posts and the cement plenty of time to get set and be just fine and dandy for when they come back on Monday to put the trusses up. So you've seen the trusses before. They're over there. Can you see them? Jerry says you can see them. Um, that you can see the trusses. So basically the trusses will sit pretty much straight on top of the post. So it's not gonna be, ter I say terribly taller, it's already pretty tall and they put the trusses on there, it's gonna be even taller, right? But there's not gonna be like an extension from these posts to the trusses. Um, and then where they're working right now is the center and that will be where the gutter is. So the gutter connects the two A-frames. So we'll have the two peaks and then the gutter running down the middle um so yeah it's it's really exciting it's huge and it's tall it's gonna be a lot of fun and these and these guys are super sweet too so they're a lot of fun um in fact they've already watched the first video and they were having a great time watching the whole um greenhouse just the documentation of it and so we said well hey yeah you can put this on your resume that you built a greenhouse at Greekside Nursery so anyway we are thoroughly enjoying them being here with us and they're doing an amazing job bless their hearts it's starting to rain again so they're trying to keep the concrete dry anyway we will keep you posted not much else is going on with the greenhouse until Monday morning we will go from there but as always thanks so much for gardening with Creekside y'all have a great day we'll see you in the next video Bye, friends.